Evening. How are you doing? Uh, I'm going to try something a bit different for tonight's shave with the editing. So, the soap for tonight is it's Tuesday, so we're going to have a, a tobacco Tuesday. So, I'm going to get this lathered up on the face, which will play at full speed. So, I'm going to watch it at normal speed, reduce it down to quarter speed on YouTube. And when we've got lathered up, I shall come back and we'll go through the nose and crack on with the shave. And we're back, back to normal, but uh, single speed. Okay, Tuesday night, sub for the night was a tobacco shaving stick, which basically smells of tobacco flower really. Uh, it's not a heavy scent, it's quite light, quite old money, I'm over 50. Caught in a flash, I'm really old. Thanks Flash. Uh, no, he described me as an older gent gentleman. So yeah, I do fall into that category. So that was the soap. The brush was a, what is, a Smog 830 Excelsior, which as you can see is doing its job. And that was soaking for five, ten minutes or so and some warm water before we started. The razor for tonight is the short handled Merker Progress. Three piece adjustable razor, unscrew the base, top screws off, and the blade goes on the top cap. And the blade is the second use on the big chrome platinum that I used in the last shave, not the Gillette chrome platinum, as I apparently described it at one point during the last video. It's definitely a big. So the blades in, I'll get my head alignment sorted out. By that I mean, if you look at that side of the razor, he says turning it round. If you look at that side of the razor, you'll see there's a triangle and a notch on the head cap. Those two line up, and then you simply screw the razor together. That takes care of the blade alignment and the adjustment. You can see there, down as the sitting zero. So, 2.5 is where we're going to be shaving tonight. You see the little dot that's there, that's the, the indicator to tell me where we are. And get some water heat in the blade, and we shall crack on. So, my reasoning for changing the editing for this video. Even before I started recording videos, while watching other people's, I often thought that the video was too long at times and could be shortened. So I thought for this one, what I'll do is I'll start the video and I shall do the lathering process at times four. So if you want to watch it in full, you can slow it down on YouTube to quarter speed, which will be normal speed, and then we'll go back to normal. Just to see 
how it turns out. If anyone has any preferences, let me know in the comments below as to whether you'd rather the whole thing not drag on for an eternity but last its full course at a single speed or whether the uh, speed adjustment bothers you to yes, no, no, yes and uh, Take things from there. Anyhow, that's the first pass done. That stick retails, what, nine quid I think yeah, ten quid? You get a fair few shaves out of that. It's 100 grams. So, yeah, 100 grams. So, another travel option, viable travel, travel option. Yeah. And there. Uh, Plenty of slickness. Plenty of slickness. It's just, it's an old fashioned scent, old fashioned soap. If you want some of the more trendy scents, don't buy it. But, uh, for what it is, it works pretty well. You just like yourself, all you do is run it over the beard and then lather it up. Or you could. Rub it around the bowl and bowl lather it with it being a stick, just rub some around the inside of the bowl. Oh, cut a bit off the disc, it is quite a hard, hard stick. I'm not gonna add any more water to this, don't need to, I don't need to. So this razor is adjustable from zero to five. Uh, this is the short handled version. There's also a long handled version. And the Parker variant is the same stroke, a similar design, but with a different, different base cap, different knob at the end. Uh, this is a vintage one, hence the, the colours being painted and everything else it's came from. Several in Mexico. But like I said, from like Jovet, there's no date codes on any of the Merca stuff. So, in case you're wondering what the background noise is, it's my annoying fan in the corner of the bathroom which unfortunately is hardwired to the lights and I wasn't sure it's quite great again today so I can't turn it off so it'll be in darkness I spent enough time being a mushroom at work if you can work that line out you're doing well i.e. Kept in the dark and fed on shit, in case you haven't heard that line before. But hey, we're 40% of the way through the working week, or my working week anyway, so things are looking up.
and we're two passes down. So, you can be done with some good shaves, bad shaves, in different shaves. Anything new in the post that the wife doesn't know about? Can't say too much, she might be outside the door listening. Yeah, third pass, I'm just going to drop it down my second crossways pass because I've already got most of the growth off really to number two Right, shaving under the nose. A couple of ways you can do it. I have this. I've got a friend who's recently started wet shaving. He has a, a problem area under the nose. So by going across that way in both directions, you can get quite close up. Then you can either put the razor in and just gently pull it down. Or another option. Do the old nose slide, pull it to one side. Between there and the Adam's apple. That's probably the two main problem areas. Adam's apple, you know, you've got two options. You can pull the skin to one side and then shave it and pull it to the other or you can saw and once you saw the Adam's apple subsides a little bit and you can just shave over that area there so that's two problem areas sorted out okay there's not much soap left in the brush this brush has a habit of eating soap I don't know what it does with it. So, right. I'm going to have a quick face wash, which with this lather I won't take long, and I shall be back in a moment for the post shave. So, see you in a minute. And we're back. So, I had a warm water rub off, a cold water rub off. You can see the sea self that's stopped most of the little weepers that we had. So tonight I'm using two post shave products, Boots, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, which is a cleansing and toning lotion. Uh, basically cheap phrase, button centred. There is a bit of alcohol in that. Uh, so a few dabs, and yeah, I suppose you could always add a few drops of essential oil, lavender etc. If you want to make your own, oh, 100, at least 150, 150ml, so I might go for like 
10 drops of lavender just to give it a little hint. And there's the witch hazel. And we're going to follow it up with this is from Superdrug. This is the stuff I mix with aloe vera normally. It's organic aloe vera gel, and this one's got tea tree and arnica in it. See, so it comes in quite big tubs, 200 ml. So, decent blob on the side, on the hand. And a quick wash off. Okay, so quick recap what we use tonight. Tuesday, so I went traditional with a tobacco shaving stick, tobacco shaving soap, and we face lathered the tobacco with a smoke excelsior ball brush which uh, it's okay much prefer me the ball but uh, yeah it's, it's taking some breaking in and I'm not the first owner it's still taking some breaking in the razor was a Merca Progress short handle uh, adjustable razor and the blade a bit Chrome Platinum, on its second use. And we've polished it off with boots, which has on tea tree and organic aloe vera gel with tea tree and arnica. And this is from Super Drug, as I say, it's not expensive. That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm feeling nice and smooth. And, uh, but uh, aloe vera gel is doing its job. If you've got a really cold shave, you could put it in the freezer the day before and use it that way afterwards. That would have a nice chilling effect on the skin. And uh, I'll see you in the next shave. If you have any comments, reference the editing, i.e. the speeding up and everything else, leave them below. I'll be interested to read them. Uh, just to see how things progress in the future, whether it's long and slow, which I've got no I've got no problem with, or speed up the uh, the lathering part, as everyone lathers the face who do shaves every time they shave. Uh, do we really need to see it in slow motion, super 4K surround sound? Uh, so I'll see you next shave. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.